Hey guys, my name is Gregorio Juarez, and this is week four of me practicing the guitar. So let's begin. All right, so I just tuned. So what I'm gonna do first is do practice chord changes. All right, so I'm gonna go from A, and then to E, and then to D. So I'm just gonna practice that. So what I noticed is that every time I have to play a chord, or like any of the chords, I have to look at the strings where I'm hitting, and that's the thing I gotta fix, because I know like the professionals don't have to look at the strings when they play a chord. So I'm gonna practice playing the chord without looking at the strings. Like for instance, the A chord, you have to hit every string except for the low E, and for the D chord, you have to hit every string except for the the top two strings. So I'm gonna practice the D chord and the A chord. All right? Alright, so I'm just gonna keep practicing more chords. I'm just gonna say the names and just like play them. Alright? So G and then D minor. minor C D D minor E A minor G D D minor So now what I'm gonna do, so I posted a video on practicing uh, a requinto, but I, I practice it in Spanish, so what I'm gonna do is gonna practice it, but practice it in English, all right? So for this uh, requinto, it's it's for Me Gusta Mucho by Ariel Camacho. It starts with the first finger on the high E, and then your second finger on the 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 other the second string so you hit it twice and then you go down by two then by one and then you go to the fifth and seventh and then you go to here So that's what I practiced in that video, and right now I'm gonna just keep practicing that more. this video I'm not gonna practice out of the book today cuz I'm gonna be practicing this so my videos are so every week my videos are gonna change or be updated like my practice routine so this week I'm gonna just practice this all right if you guys haven't heard this song you guys should hear it it's 
really good song. But the one I'm doing is by Aria Camacho. So you should hear that one. So what I notice is that every time I play it, I play it slow because I have to keep looking back and forth on where I put my fingers and just hitting the two strings at the same time. So I'm going to try and practice it without looking at this hand, this part and just looking at my hands over here because I know that makes me go slow when I look at both. So let me try that. When I try that, I just, I only play the first string sometimes, so that's what messes me up. So let me just keep practicing, let me just keep practicing that. Alright, so let me practice that again. hitting only just one string when I do that. It just, it just doesn't sound good whenever I don't look at it. is that when I play this part sometimes I like cut off I don't know which note it is but I cut off a note and then it doesn't sound good if you have any like hints on what to do there just leave it in the comments below all right thank you you hear that it sounds like I'm cutting the, the note off which and it doesn't sound good This is just one section of the beginning part. There's still like a lot more that I have to practice, but I'm just gonna start off with this. After I get this, I'm gonna keep moving on. And for the parts I'm 
practicing, like the the ones I'm t t telling you about, that's just the beginning of the song. I also want to learn like the chords to play the song, and I know just one of them, but I can't hit it just yet, cause you have to put your first finger on the the first and second string, and then your second on the third and no, your second on the third string and your third on the fourth string, and then sometimes I can't can't hit the first and second string because of my second finger. It, it like it doesn't work. And this is just a A, a major chord, I think, but it's just all the way to the fifth. Fifth fret. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep practicing that, but for now, I'm just practicing the requinto, the first part of the song. So that is it for this video. So I'm gonna keep practicing this part and next week I'll show you the progress that I made. Alright, see you guys. Bye.